latest on uh, Sabri Mala, where protests have erupted in the capital of Kerala and Tiruvananthapuram against the Supreme Court's verdict. Protesters demand a review petition from the state government against the order, which has allowed entry of women across ages into the shrine. That's right. The Devaswam board has also called for a meeting with the head priest family, the Ayappa Seva Sangam, and the temple's caretakers for a discussion today. Well, so uh, tomorrow is a big day actually when the doors are set to be open for women across ages to enter the Sabrimala temple. But you can see how protests are picking up over this issue. It's not just religious groups, political parties have jumped into the fray. Meanwhile, the Devasam board is making all efforts to reach out to the protesters to build consensus and to find a resolution. But it seems that the emotions are running high and there are a sizable number of people who do not agree that the temple door should be open to all women. That's right, Afida, because it's, it's, it's an age-old belief, really, that we're looking at versus the law. We've seen protests really uh, intensify all over the country. There's a rally from Pandalam Palace to Nilakkal. Uh, we've seen protests, you know, um, um, opening up and... Uh, you know, lining up right up to this landmark day, which is tomorrow. Let's remember yes. where uh, the temple will open its doors for the five-day puja. Hmm. And uh, let me quickly bring in my colleague Pramod Madhav, who's been uh, tracking the story very closely and now, in fact, joining us uh, from this. Uh, Pramod, first, give us an idea of what the situation is currently like on ground. We've seen protests really intensify in the past couple of days ahead of the temple opening its doors right after the Supreme Court verdict. Well, if as and everything goes well, tomorrow around 5.30 p.m. is the time the temple doors will be open for uh, uh, pilgrims to visit the temple. It, because every month from 1st to 5th of uh, Malayalam month, they will start open the temple for the uh, devotees to visit the temple. However, this month is going to be very crucial because as you might know, after the Supreme Court's order, now Travanko Devaswam Board has also called in for an, a meeting between the uh, Ayapa Seva Sangh, the, uh, the Travanko Devaswam Board members and the Pandalam uh, uh, for Royal Palace uh, uh, representatives and from here, Sashi Varma, the representative, is going to participate in it. So that this was a development until now. Anytime the meeting will start over there. However, as we are standing in Palace grounds, and from here, it is expected by 10 a.m. that uh, uh, close to 1,000 bike, uh, uh, bikers will leave to Nilakal, where there is already our uh, protests are going to start again. This time, senior lay women have started. I mean, have, have planned to conduct a protest in that area. Tomorrow onwards, it is being said that close to 1,000 police will be deployed in Nilakal and Pamba alone under the uh, uh, with the three SPs to monitor the situation. Because if the temple is going to be open by 5:30 a.m. to 5:30 p.m. tomorrow, around 1 p.m. there is a possibility that the uh, the uh, if by any chance any women are is, uh, trying to are trying to uh, are attempting to enter the uh, Sabrimala, they will feel a lot of see a lot of resistance. So that way, police protection has also been given. Mm. Even now, uh, as we speak, uh, bikers are expected to reach this uh, Pandalam Palace in another 30 minutes or so. So from here, it is expected that they will leave to Nilakal to show their solidarity and to conduct a non-violence protest against the Supreme Court's order. Right, because you know, Pramo, now what we see happening is a major law and order challenge. The crowds are swelling. It's a groundswell of people, Sanjana, That's right. if you look at those pictures. And tomorrow, like you said, 5.30 is the time. So the state government has very little time, really, even if it comes to, uh, you know, assuaging the concerns or pacifying the sentiments. Do you think it's going to be a tall order, a rather difficult task? Well, it surely is because uh, what's happening is that the, all the protests you see right now is mostly concentrated in Trivandrapuram, where you have the secretariat, where the people, the uh, devotees, and the uh, I mean uh, the uh, right wing members are trying to show their strength to the government because the government has already decided to abide by the uh, I mean verdict of the Supreme Court. However, tomorrow we are also expecting uh, the uh, chief minister to participate in an event today and tomorrow where uh, this event is in a way to educate the mass about the necessity to follow the Supreme Court's order. That is mm. also going on one hand and this is another one. Tomorrow and today there's going to be a crucial development in Nilakal, Erineri and uh, uh, Pamba. These are the three uh, base locations for Sabrimala where right. the, the uh, right wing members and the devotees have already promised to go ahead and conduct a mass protest. Right. Pressure is mounting on the state government to bring in an ordinance, to intervene, to file a review petition and like Pramod just said there will be important developments happening. Sanjana. 
That's right, Pramod, stay with us because we have one more story coming out uh, of uh, this entire Sabrimala Rao. Reshma Nishant, a staunch devotee of Lord Ayapa, has faced a massive backlash on social media when she expressed her desire to visit the temple when it opens on Wednesday. Now, amid raging protests, she was slut-shamed, abused and even threatened online. However, an unperturbed Reshma expressed hope that the state government and police would provide necessary protection to women like her who wish to enter the shrine. So, Pramod, there are women like Reshma who uh, was obviously uh, very thrilled with the Supreme Court verdict that the temple doors will be open and she will be able to visit the shrine. But will the dreams of people like Reshma become a reality tomorrow? That's the question, isn't it? Well, it surely is, and Reshma has already started her penance. This is a 41-day program, and uh, by end of November or January, she's planned to enter the Sabrimala Temple. As I said earlier, every Malayalam month from 1st to 5th, um, uh, the temple will be uh, temple will open its doors for the uh, pilgrims and the devotees to enter the place. The issue here is that Reshma is being a uh, uh, kind of uh, embarrassed in two manners. One, as you meant, uh, mentioned by slut shaming, claiming various other, uh, uh, I mean, uh, unacceptable or insulting manners, stating all other things. And the other one is that she's also being branded as a feminist and not just as, as a left-wing activist also. This seems to be the recent development with Reshma's story. Many in Facebook are trying to so, put pictures claiming that Reshma was, in fact, they have gone to that level of, uh, I mean, depicting pictures of fish curry on her Facebook uh, page stating that she was eating fish curry during the, uh, like, uh, uh, this particular month and how can she uh, conduct penance when she's f eating fish curry. This way, kind of, they're, for, on their own logic, they are trying to prove that Reshma is not honest in uh, uh, saying that she wants to visit Sabrimala. So that way also they are trying to embarrass and insult the situation but however Reshma as you mentioned is steadfast and wants to visit the temple around uh, between November and January.